I think it's pretty rare for people to get to fly in and out of work every day, producing the most coveted product, you know, in all the world. I'm Rebecca Pickering, and this is my story. I arrive at the airport by, by six o'clock, up on the plane. 25 minutes later, I'm at work. The bit about Argyle that makes it special is that this is the only mine in the world that consistently produces rare pink diamonds, which is pretty special. Being an engineer, she's moved into a leadership role and she's got accountability for how many diamonds we recover each day. It's never going to be easy being a, a woman in, in one of these environments, but my dad works in the mining industry and he gave me some, you know, really good advice. Never to be asking someone to do anything you're not prepared to do yourself. Only 1% uh, of our production is pink diamonds. So for every four Olympic swimming sized pools of rock that we crush, we get half a bucket of diamonds and within that half a teaspoon are pink diamonds. And one carat high quality pink diamond could sell in excess of $1 million. Australians should be really proud that we're producing this unique product. These diamonds are showcased all around the world. They play a really important role in our own economy. This is a good day at work. Something that's really beautiful and that's really pure that you're giving to someone to symbolise your love. I actually met Tim up here at the pub. Perhaps if I stop asking for a two carat diamond ring, it might go a little faster. Um, but I'm sure I'll drag him in there with a successful result at some point. Diamonds represent purity, and I think that's why it's such a nice thing for you to buy someone you love. Hypothetically speaking, sweetheart. <laughs>